Carrying your ruck is an important part of all field operations. Recently at the One Shepherd summer semester in Missouri, I had a chance to speak with Dr. Chris Larson about the best ways to prepare for a ruck march. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'd say wear galoshes and tennis shoes underneath. Don't let your uh, sergeant find out. Um, it's often very handy if you know how to inflate a uh, you know, waterproof bag so that your uh, ruck looks nice and fluffy. <laughs> so you're a fan of pillow rucks. <laughs> I am. Um, uh, helium is even better. I've always fan fantasized about a rucksack that would actually carry my weight as we went. Um, uh, how to prepare for it? You know, I think the big thing is just to keep walking. And that sounds simple. I, so some people live in areas where that's not real feasible. Okay, get a treadmill and walk. And people laugh at that. And say, well, why would I get a treadmill? But if you get a treadmill and you walk, you do things like, okay, once or twice a week I'm going to do a five miler, and once or twice a week I'm going to do a, like a two miler for speed. Um, and you keep that at a 12 minute pace, I mean, or work towards that. Now I'm telling you what, if you're picking them up and putting them down, remember this. So here's the thing. Military doctrine says 20 minute mile pace, that's three miles an hour. Good. It's moving troops from point A to point B. Okay. But all of your schools do a force march whereby you wear a certain amount of weight in your weapon and all this stuff. And you have to complete, whether it's a 10 or a 12 miler, um, you have to complete it in 15 minutes or less. And um, You'll see guys with the expert infantry badge uh, actually running it, keeping it down sub 10, sub 10 minute miles, with all the weight and everything else doing a 12 mile force march. So, I don't recommend running, running with that, but you can do this, you can do it at home. And here's another advantage of that you can actually put your battle rattle and, and ruck on, and your neighbors won't look at you weird. In fact, I'll go you one farther on a treadmill. You can actually grab your rifle and go too. Remember most treadmills allow you to even increase or decrease incline? Alright? So, it starts to become very realistic. And the studies shown, they, uh, there was just a study done just very recently. They say, look, it's 100 miles, it's 100 calories per mile, okay? If you run it, I mean like, guys running 5 miles and keeping a 6 minute mile pace are burning only 120. I mean, they're just death-defying, if you ask me. That's a hell of a pace. And it's only like 118, 120 on the heavier set guys, right? Um, little old women, little old ladies, very light, you know, 110 pounders, right? And they're walking a 20-minute mile pace. They're burning like 90 calories. So the variance between male, female, heavy, light, and super slow or super fast is really marginal. It's 90 to 100, you know, from a pragmatic perspective, it's 90 to 100 calories, 120, um, for the mile. And what's really interesting about that is you can just say, well, it's 100 calories per mile, that's the best estimate, and uh, ignore what your treadmill says, they're all calibrated wrong, they're doing the wrong algorithm. You walk a mile, you burned 100 calories. You, bump, mark, mark, you walk five, you burned 500. Okay, so that's cool. Now, the downside is you're saying, well, why would I want to keep a 12 minute mile pace? Well, you don't burn much more calories, almost nothing more, but you definitely get that heart beat up. You know, you get this great cardiovascular. Yeah, that's honestly how I prepare for it. And you just throw on the battle rattle, you know, rucksack and weapon as needed. I got one, well, I didn't get it, my wife set it up, uh, but we have a treadmill in our basement. That's, you know, I live in the D.C. area. There's no way I can walk around like this in the D.C. area, but in my basement I can. And that's how I personally prepare for it. I thought the cops would expect nothing less from you when you were walking around like that in the D.C. area. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Well, yeah, there goes Larson again. Scaring the neighbors.